Hello and welcome to yet another video on Adil Azmat Cockpit. As I told you earlier in my previous video, we are going to start off with an interview series on the concept of time travel. I told you that the first interview that we are going to have will be taking an interview with my younger brother, Rahil Azmat. He's a scientist. He works in Ireland. He's got quite an interest and information on the concept of time travel. And let's see what he thinks about the concept of time travel. So Rahil, how are you? I hope that you're fine and uh, let's get started directly. I'm going to ask you a question and you have to respond on that. My question is, this is something that I've discussed in my book as well. Now, let's assume that there is uh, a planet X in the galaxy Andromeda. All right. We know that Andromeda is around 2.5 million light years away. So there is a planet X. There is a solar system over there as well with a planet X in Andromeda galaxy. Now there are aliens over there in Andromeda galaxy in that planet X and they have got a hypothetical telescope with which they are looking at Earth right now. So the same way that we're going to look at that planet X in Andromeda galaxy uh, and if we have the ability to look into that planet on the surface of the planet, we'll be looking at the planet the way it was 2.5 million years ago, right? Same is going to be the case with the aliens living on that planet, Andromeda Galaxy. They'll be looking at the Earth with their telescope, not on uh, the day and uh, the events that are happening today, but 2.5 million years ago. Because, as we know, that light, the photons would take 2.5 million years to take the information because they are the packets of energy and information at the same time. So, they'll be taking 2.5 million years to travel from Earth to Andromeda Galaxy Planet. Same is the case from Andromeda Galaxy Planet to Earth. So, because they'll be looking at the Earth around 2.5 million years ago when mankind is still evolving and stuff like that. So, they won't be looking at the things which are happening right now. So, what if we had a Force X which could hypothetically transfer human beings or aliens instantaneously from that planet X to Earth and vice versa from Earth to planet X. If they get transported instantaneously, what do you think the alien would be when the alien comes back away, comes over here on planet Earth or when a human being is transported instantaneously to planet X? What about the other human beings who are looking at the telescope on the planet X? and the aliens looking on planet earth would find out will will that person be there on the x spot and in that respective planet or they'll be transported back in time and the person looking in the telescope won't be able to see i hope you get the question although it was a long one but but i had to for the viewers build up the scenario so that they can understand what the basic idea of the question is so what's your take on that Yes, thank you very much, Professor Adil, for having me on your channel and a uh, brief introduction. Yes, I myself, uh, I am very much interested in science, uh, especially astronomy and physics. And uh, myself have been working in uh, semiconductor and VLSI industry for the last 15 years. So the coming to you, the scenario that you have uh, put uh, forward it's a very interesting scenario I did draw that scenario and I will try to try to answer what you have asked so briefly explaining back your scenario is if there is a planet X here and this is a planet Earth so this planet X is 2.5 million light years away from Earth and the scenario is there are aliens on this planet Earth and they are looking, they have their telescopes pointed towards Earth. So the question is, what will they be seeing at this moment, at this instance? So we understand when we say 2.5 million light years, it means that the, the light, the photons, which are the packets of light, is taking 2.5 million light years to reach this planet and then these packets are captured in the telescope of the alien 
and they are seeing Earth. So since these packets, the photons, took 2.5 million light years to reach the planet X, so they will be seeing Earth as she was 2.5 million light years ago. So the question is, now, we have another alien who is looking at this alien. Now, the, if we have a way to transport this alien to planet Earth instantly, when we say instantly, instantaneous, instantly, or instantaneously, it means when the time is zero. There is no time delay. And we can transport this alien on Earth. What will he see? Will he see Earth? That it was 2.5 million light years ago, what he was seeing here on his planet X. Or will he reach Earth instantaneously, but he will land on Earth that is today, 2024. So this is the question. And then the second part was, what if this alien also has his telescope fixed? at the spot where this alien will land. So when this alien disappears instantly and lands here, will this alien be able to see this alien? So as per my understanding and what I think is, this alien, even if it is transported instantaneously, will not land 2.5 million years ago's Earth, but instead it will land on Earth, that is today. Because even though he is seeing the Earth 2.5 million light years older, but in time, in real time, that Earth has already passed that age. The Earth has reached the age which is 2024. So if he instantaneously disappears from here and ends up here, he will see the earth that is today, not 2.5 million years old. And this, the other alien who is seeing this alien will not see him at all. He will appear to this alien after 2.5 million years. So if he keeps looking at this spot for 2.5 million years, he will start seeing him again. So what happens is he is looking here. His friend disappears and does not reappear for another 2.5 million years. And then this man, this alien appears again. But for this alien, he disappears and he appears in today's earth but this 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 alien will appear to him after 2.5 million light years now uh, i hope this answers your question but there can be some other questions how can this alien move from here to there instantaneously or with a time equal to zero so that can be a topic of discussion in some other video where we can discuss uh, some, some theoretical concepts of how the time can be zero, uh, where we can discuss Einstein theory of relativity or time in the fourth, uh, you know, we have the fourth dimension. How can time be changed? How can time be slowed down? How time is related with the speed of, speed of movement, something like that. I hope it answers your question. So it does answer a few questions, but it opens up another Pandora box of a lot of more questions. As far as talking about time is equal to zero, unfortunately for this video, time is zero right now. So we'll be catching up with you 
In the next video, we'll be asking you something about how can time be zero? T is equal to zero. We'll be discussing on that. But again, I know that you have got a restriction. You can't, you can't spare more time than what you have already done. So I'm going to ask you other questions in another video. So stay tuned. We'll be catching up with the Rahil Azmat in the next video. So till then, signing off Adil Azmat Cockpit. Don't forget to like, subscribe and support Adil Azmat Cockpit. This is the only channel where we have the discussion regarding concepts of time travel. Over here in our country, we normally do not discuss this topic. Even the students, even, even the faculty members, they do not discuss it. They, they don't look at the night sky and find out different things which inspire a lot of, you know, questions in them. So, uh, thank you so much, Rahil, once again. And uh, we'll be catching up. Uh, we'll be asking more interesting questions. And I hope that uh, not only that you answer, uh, you also get ready to take more questions. Thanks. Take care.